You're working in a creative field, you know, you, you often meet a lot of creative people who kind of want to be doing other things. Um, I mean, it's not easy, uh, you know, uh, you know, like I said, you know, it's, it's something I had wanted to do for a long time, and uh, it just takes you a while to kind of find the thing that sticks, yeah. and sometimes uh, it's not what you plan it out to be, it's just something that happens, you know, like our, our webcomic. You know, we, you know, we had tried to make something happen, you know, with the both of us, and it, uh, this is something that just, you know, just sort of like lightning struck, and it just started working. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, you know, it's 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 uh, you know, lots of people want to do these things. Uh, anybody could do these things. You know, we live in an age where you know you have. Uh, the ability to market yourself and the ability to, you know, uh, 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 prepare things for printing and, and, you know, it just like amazes me that, you know, we can go on vacation in Maine, but I can still uh, completely pencil and ink and, and, and letter and whatever my comic on, you know, like this tablet. Um, but, uh, but, you know, there's also, you know, you have to have a lot of will and and uh, do a lot of work, uh, and um, and you know keep uh, pushing, um, you know keep persevering because uh, it's not easy to be a creative person in you know a world where you also have to pay rent and and, and you know do all those other things. Right. Uh, I mean, honestly, um, a, a lot of our creative output has been because because of me leaving Nickelodeon, I, can't, I keep saying leaving Nickelodeon, uh, I was laid off. Mm. Um, it was after 10 years uh, mm. of being there. Um, so, you know, I had a good run there. Leaving Nickelodeon, was it, was it a, under good circumstances, bad circumstances? I guess, uh, why would they, I wonder why they would have to do such a thing. Well, it's it's you know, corporate it's, life now. Yeah. 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 It's just the, it is now it is. just you yeah. know at, at, at the end of the fiscal year they have to balance their books and yeah. that's the way they do it with layoffs i yeah. mean not yeah. to make excuses but i was there for 10 years right that's you know, what i'm saying I, I was the last person in my creative group uh to uh to be laid off which is amazing considering what an anti-social jerk i am <laughs> you know i'm really not like a corporate guy well, he's better now i was yeah i I learned my lesson because, you know, I literally took my uh, toy collections, built up literal walls around my <laughs> cubicle, and, and it is, uh, you know, blocked myself off from people and thought I could kind of get away with that. And art director after art director would warn me, John, if they're looking to do layoffs every year, which they do, you know, they're going to look at the big, dark, creepy guy who doesn't talk to anybody. And, um, and I just ignored them because, honestly... Um, I mean, working at MTV Networks, you know, Viacom, Nickelodeon, you know, it's it's pretty cool, um, and I I liked it, I appreciated it, but I also was bored, you know, after ten years, and right. I assumed there was this amazing kind of like freelance artistic life for me out there. Mm -hmm. And then when I did get laid off, I realized, oh, actually, I'm not like a hustler. I'm not the kind of person who's good at kind of, you know, making my way as a freelancer yeah. and um, and kind of didn't know what to do with myself. And my webcomic, the Frankenstein one, was actually about that. The Frankenstein character in my comic, um, he's the Frankenstein monster, he's the real Frankenstein monster, but in reality, Frankenstein, the name, is public domain. Anybody could do a yeah. Frankenstein movie or comic book or TV show, whatever, and so in the comic, um, he had been kind of like, he had had all these endorsement things where there was like a Frankenberry cereal that was like based on him and, and a Saturday morning cartoon show and all these things that he kind of like had little residual checks coming in. And then over the years, as the economy got worse, people realized they didn't have to pay him. Mm -hmm. So he kind of, it kind of disappeared and he had kind of become complacent. And then all of a sudden, it's like his wife is like, you know, what are you going to do with your life? You need to get a job and figure out your life. And I was in the same position where it's like that mid-career crisis kind of thing, you know, mid-life crisis, whatever, you know, it's like, like kind of trying to figure out what am I doing? 
Um, in the comic, he decides to be a superhero, which is stupid, <laughs> and it doesn't work. And um, so that's what that com that web comic was about. Um, but uh, you know, it was like very good for me creatively, and I was very happy when it happened. I mean, also, you know, MTV networks back then. I don't know now. You know, when they lay you off, they gave you like a really good package, mm. and so that was why Lisa was like, you know, you know, you've got some money right now, and and you have some time. This is the time to you know make that artistic leap and you know try this other thing, and you know it was great. But, you know, there's also sort of, I'm, you know, still, like, trying to figure out my life as a working artist. You know, it's a, it's a constant struggle, which, honestly, you know, I'm great at the art. I'm not as great at the money. <laughs> not so. uncommon. 